two things to show you here today. Uh, this iron any place. And more importantly, the Rowenta iron and steamer all in one. I'm at hotel, so the light and sound's going to be a little shitty, but I wanted this to be realistic, right? I'm a business traveler. Uh, lots of times when I travel, I have to wear a suit that gets wrinkled. So I have to wear a suit that gets wrinkled, and sometimes the hotel has a good iron. Sometimes they have a bad iron. More importantly... Uh, sometimes they aren't dirty, like there'll be like stains on it. One time, like some brown shit leaked out of it and got my shirt like a stain. So, I decided I want to stop using their irons. I didn't want to carry an iron and a steamer at once. An uh, iron sucks. So, I was kind of hoping a steamer might do the trick. Now, the fact that this is two in one. Sometimes those don't do as good a job as others, but I guess we'll see, right? Here's the other piece. There we go. That's the Rowenta 2-in-1 steam press. And I got this because sometimes... Uh, the iron board is disgusting in a hotel room. One time it looked like there was red nail polish or something spilled on it. So, like, I didn't want to iron my shirt on there because I didn't want the red shit getting on my shirt. So, I got this thing. It says you can do it anywhere. So, in theory, I could do it on this firm table or I could just use the actual ironing board. It just uses to cover the ironing board, which is probably what I would do. Uh, so, let's take a look at this first. has uh, like magnets in there I guess I don't know if there's any metal here for it to stick to but there are weights at least that will hold it down and then it's pretty big you can see how it's just covering both sides seem to be the same material uh, yeah so I like this this is a good purchase I believe even if this thing sucks I can use this uh, with the existing hotel iron. This thing comes with, this guy comes with a little water cup. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that comes off. And you put the water in there. And of course it has mend max settings. And let's read the little manual to figure out what does what. It doesn't fold or anything. It has like a trigger here. One of the selling points of this on Amazon said it was meant to use tap water. And it's weird that it says, uh, warning, never use distilled or demineralized water. So this is going to be a little hard to show with one hand, but you see here, it has a little button guy. Let me pull that. And you can just take this right off. I don't know why, but you can. Alright, so it also has this little, let's talk about this little stand. So when you're heating the iron, I guess you like this. Yeah, it doesn't seem right, but that's what it says, 4B, right here. So you can see, this will sit like that while it's heating up. Seems odd. So I'm reading this manual, and this is funny. It says, as it gets very hot, never attempt to uh, remove the creases from a garment while it's being worn. So don't iron it while you're wearing it, or steam it while you're wearing it, which is funny. 
uh, so this accessory here does not have to be attached. I think it's just meant to like help. It just slides on. Well, it fits pretty good, really. And then there's a little uh, release button here. And it says you don't need it because it doesn't, doesn't do anything. The holes are still here. I guess the goal is just to use it as a brush. Right, it's like this is a lint brush, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to steam first. I have my suit hanging up. Let's take this guy off. I'm going to fill this up using this little guy and then we'll try to steam something all right so it turns out I did already put my water bottles in the fridge so I just use regular tap water in here I filled it to this line and I don't know if you can see it it filled it perfectly to this max line like it's supposed to so now let's put this back on and I'm gonna so I thought I'd do the cord, of course, and plug it in. So unfortunately, this hotel, the only place to hang stuff is in the actual bathroom, so the audio is going to kind of suck. I'm turning this on a minute ago. This light turned red. Uh, let me turn it off. And I cranked it up to this one because this one shows steam coming out. So you can see this shirt is pretty wrinkled. So according to this, it should only take one minute to heat up. Sprayed water as opposed to steaming. Let me hold this down for a while and see if it does anything. two cups of water uh, on combined on the jacket and shirt. Uh, now I got a better idea of how to use it. I'm going to use a third cup of water and I'm try on these pants which are much more wrinkled than the other guys were but I kind of figured out if you follow the directions it works a little better so it says to hold it tight and then kind of stroke with the brush. Which I can't film one handed, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Okay, I basically used that whole cup of water on these pants. They turned out not bad. Although I don't know how much less work this is than ironing, and it doesn't really come out probably as good as ironing. Uh, I have another suit. I'm going to try to iron with this guy and we'll see how he turns out. 
Uh, so this hotel is pretty nice. It's a double tree. It's a nicer one that I've been in. And this iron board looks pretty good. But I've been in some. Like in my last hotel was a Hilton Garden Inn. Like I said, it had red nail polish. Like slung all over it. So uh, even though this looks fun, just to try it out, I'm going to try that little sheet thing. So here's the sheet thing. And there's my iron. I'm going to use this as an iron. You can see this shirt is pretty wrinkled. So we're going to give it a shot once this feller heats up. You can feel the heat radi off, radiating off of there. So, Alright, so here it is. Iron side down. Doesn't seem to be very good iron. I'm gonna hit the little trigger. I guess it's alright. I guess to be fair. I don't know how good this mat thing is. I mean, it's good for its purpose. Since this ironing board is not dirty, I'm going to take it off and try to do this the regular way. So. I will say it's an iron. It seems to be doing all right. Probably a better iron than a steamer. Maybe use it as an iron and then just uh, steam some stuff when it doesn't. Quiet hour, it's one of those weird parts to close where you can't get to it. Right, here's a good test. So that is pretty good there. Alright, next super wrinkle part. And again, I never claimed to be very good at ironing in the first place, so. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a much better iron than a steam. It's probably good to use as an iron and then just hit it with a steam blast every so often. That's turned out pretty nice on the parts that were actually ironed. And then you can see here's the unironed part. And there is the iron part. So, as an iron, I'd say thumbs up. Small, and but I do kind of like this little wand action. Uh, as a steamer, eh, okay at best. But I will say I'll keep using it. I'll use it as an iron, and then I'll just kind of steam stuff like suit jackets that aren't so easy, or parts of the jacket that aren't so easy to iron, or the parts of the shirt, you know probably iron it first then hang it up and then steam blast a couple things that are kind of tricky to get out 
How about overall? Pretty good. It's not bad for 28 bucks. Alright. Uh, thanks for checking me out. Uh, go ahead and leave me any questions about this. Thanks.